Hello guys, I'm Imran from Easy Learning and today in this video I'm about to show you how to install C compiler and run your first C program in Visual Studio Code. So to download C compiler open your web browser and uh, search bitly slash mingw10 and press enter. Now open your first link and uh, now click on this link to download WinGW compiler for Windows. As you can see our file is starting downloading here. This will take some time. So now our file is downloaded. Click show in folder double click on file to run now change the path to c colon slash and extract uh, and close the necessary windows first and wait for file to extract So uh, now we need to add path in environment variable to access GCC in Visual Studio Code. So double click on this PC, then uh, go to local disk C, open mingw, and now open bin folder. Uh, to copy path, click on the address bar and copy it. Now click on window icon and search edit environment variable. Now open it. So now select the path and click edit. click on new paste the path here and then click ok and again ok so now to check if GCC compiler is working or not open your command prompt type cmd enter now type GCC space dash dash version and then press enter so if you see something like this then uh, you successfully install your GCC compiler. Now to download Visual Studio Code, open your web browser and type download Visual Studio Code and press enter. Open the first link and click on Windows to download VS Code for Windows. Now our installation file is downloading. Now open this file to start installation. Accept the license agreement and then press next. Then again press next. Next. And check this create a desktop icon and then again next. Now finally it is ready to install so click on install and close the unnecessary windows. So now check this launch visual studio code and uh, click finish. And now to run C program in VS Code we need to install C extension. Now go to this extension and search C slash C++. Now click on this C C++ extension and to install click on install button. And uh, make sure that this is from Microsoft. 
now uh, search code runner uh, now first option select first option and install as I already installed it so to run our program we can use shortcut control plus alt plus n and to stop running a program we can use shortcut control plus alt plus m now to create a folder let's click on file and click on open folder so you can select an existing folder or you can create your new folder let's create a new folder on desktop new folder and rename it C program select folder now to create a file click on this new file button and name your file uh, for example program and use dot C as extension then press enter Let's print easy learning. Return zero. And don't forget to save your program after completion. So click on file and then save. Now to run your code, you can use shortcut control plus alt plus n. So our code is running and uh, we got our result output easy learning. So that's it for the video and thank you.